If for some reason pressing the CMOS reset button doesn't allow your HP Z20 to then boot up and get back into the BIOS, you can also try removing the battery. So in this case, we made some changes in BIOS. We pressed the button. We are still getting an error on boot. So let's go ahead and remove that battery. The unit is turned off and of course unplugged. We already have the uh, cover off. So then we'll pull out this cover. Right down here is the battery. You will need sort of a, a tool. A straight screwdriver should work just fine. And there is the battery right there. And of course, that's that reset button that we showed in a previous video. We've already pressed that. It's not uh, allowing us to boot. So let's go ahead and remove this battery. And we'll just kind of pop it out. We want to make sure we don't actually pull the, uh, the housing out there. And there we go. So we got the battery out. Now we're just going to let it sit there for a second or two, and then we'll just put the battery back in. Okay, so we'll just pop the battery back in there. Just slide it in. Make sure, of course, you put it in the correct way. Slide it in the back there, and it will snap into place. So now we'll put our covers back on and boot up. We are plugged in and ready to power up. You might notice a lot of noise after you remove that CMOS battery. That's very normal because everything's been cleared out. So it's going to run through an initial test first here. And there we go. We can always press the escape key. We're actually coming right in to, uh, to the BIOS there. So if pressing that CMOS reset button is not working for you, you're still getting your errors, not getting into BIOS. You can always try removing the battery. Let it set for a little bit, then put it back in and you should be good to go.